Hello, everyone. This is Zayami Eccles Irwin from FilmFestivalCircuit.com and the assistant director of the Austin Comedy Film Festival. Right now, we are gearing up for our summer 2023 season, which is going to screen on July 30th at the Austin Film Society Cinema. Uh, and today we are talking with one of our participating filmmakers. Sam Silverstein is the writer and director of ZA. Sam, thank you so much for talking with me today. Thanks for having me. Uh, so, uh, you know, ZA is a great movie. It's so funny. And we actually just screened it at the Oregon Short Film Festival. And I can't tell oh, you how, how loud and boisterous the laughter was in the auditorium. Yes, I love to hear that. Thank you. So uh, tell me, what inspired ZA? Uh, so the true inspiration behind making a piece like ZA, uh, for those that don't know, it's a comedic short film that follows a guy trying to impress his girlfriend and he orders a pizza and the whole thing kind of goes awry by a sort of goofy pizza delivery man. And the inspiration was truly just to make something very lighthearted and fun. I, I think there's so many heavy topics being talked about today, which is wonderful and I supported it and I love it. And I think we've lost kind of sight of losing ourselves in movies. So my inspiration at the top of this project was make something that people can forget the troubles of real life, sit down, relax, laugh, and just feel really good about themselves. Okay, awesome. It's a medicinal comedy and it's exactly. very effective as such. Uh, well, so I'm kind of interested. Tell me a little bit about these characters because we've got such uh, distinct personalities. What was it like uh, kind of creating these guys? Oh my gosh. Well, well, first of all, the actors who played the characters truly brought the thing to life uh, at the expense of sounding corny. They are what made the film, each and every one of them. And I can honestly say that I think the script was, was very, in a very good spot when we went to shoot. But what the actors brought from an improvisation level and just a full character scope really made the project come to life. And when developing the characters, I wanted them to just kind of be distinctly their own. So AJ, our main character, is a good guy at his core, but there's certain components to him that are just innately this kind of bro -y character of who he is. And then uh, his girlfriend who comes, it's, it's the same kind of thing. She, she's good at her core, but has this kind of beast inside her. So... When developing each of the characters, I wanted them to distinctly be their own to the point that when you're reading the script, you could cover their name and sort of know who was saying which line based on their personalities. Okay, totally. I love that. Giving everyone their own specific voice. And, 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 it, and you know, it really reads through. I, I, I just like, I can't get enough of Sid, the pizza delivery guy. You know, kind oh, of through his, right through his like innocent naivete, he almost seems like the least uh, bad, I suppose. I mean, he's got, you know, flaws, but... Uh... Totally. And that was, uh, so Adam Hirschman is who played Sid, the pizza guy. Uh, Adam is the best. I mean, he's truly the funniest actor. I told him, I hope we can work on everything together until the day that I die. Um, but that's like you had said, it's like, he's, he's flawed, but in his own right. He, he means well, right. everything he does is good intention, but you know, of course, naturally it, it causes chaos. And uh, well, tell me what that onset dynamic was like. Cause even uh, the character, uh, the actor who played Gam Gam, is so awesome and and has such a, a verve with the line delivery what was that onset dynamic like oh my gosh we had so much fun i mean i truly have never had more fun making a project uh and alana barksdale who played gam gam was just she was so wonderful and it was so funny because we're rolling camera and she's this kind of exuberant uh, loud crazy grandmother and then we cut and she's back to just her normal fun bubbly self and we had so many laughs i think the the best moment for me on set is when you know we're rolling camera and you kind of look around and you see crew members you know covering their face trying not to laugh uh, <laughs> people messing up takes because they're laughing in the background and it, it just felt like such a fun environment and, and a really cool dynamic that's awesome that's how you know how you have a winner when when people can't stop laughing on set you know when it's so funny even in the moment even without the edited context well that's great um tell me uh what did you learn from this process i mean you're working with some real pros uh, it seems like you've made uh, a few shorts before this. Um, what did you take away from this? I'd say my biggest lesson I learned uh, with doing comedy specifically is to focus on the funny, which sounds mm -hmm. you know obvious. But in the past, I think I've gotten so caught up on the cinematography of certain things and how is this going to piece together? And I remember being on set for Zah and there were moments where I, I was like, I don't know how this is going to cut. I hope it does. We'll figure it out. We, we were as prepared as we could be. Mm -hmm. So I think my biggest lesson and the biggest takeaway for me was just making a comedy focus on the funny. And even though the actor might go a direction that the script is a little bit different than what they said, 
if it's hitting the beats and it's moving the story along, if people are laughing, that's what you got to use. So for me, the biggest lesson from this relative to my last project was let the actors have fun with the, with the characters and the dialogue, let the project sort of naturally evolve. And then also finding those funny beats uh, within the moments that people are laughing. So uh, in short, I think just focusing on the funny and making sure that if it's a comedy, the most important thing is, are people going to laugh? Okay, totally. I love that. And there's a little bit of just the trusting the, the collaborative process as well. If you got actors who can, you know, throw an ad lib or just a little a little something here and there. Uh, you know, one thing that struck me is, you know, I watched this uh, at the festival. I had an incredible time at the Oregon Short Film Festival. And then I revisited it today and I was like, oh, this is only 11 minutes. I mean, it's, it's, it's packing so many gags and so much uh, humor. I, I envisioned it being closer to 20. And then I went back. Oh, and I thought, thank you. Is that part of that mantra, focusing on the funny? Did you have to shave stuff off? Uh, that's a great question, and, and thank you for the, for the kind words. Uh, we definitely tried to trim as much fat as possible just to make sure that every moment, there, we didn't want there to be too big of a gap between laughter. Okay, yeah. And, and truly, a lot of, uh, I've been praising the dialogue a lot, but our cinematographer, Lucas Miller, did such a fantastic job of setting things up in a way that the comedy can naturally flow together and that you know, while we're focusing on the funny and the dialogue, he's making everything look so beautiful and feel so good. So I think that plays a huge part of the pacing where it doesn't feel like it's dragging out and we're getting so many jokes in there. Uh, and really just a team effort. We're just, just so grateful for everyone from the crew to the talent and all in between. Totally. Well, let's see. It sounds like a, a, a really fun time on set. It sounds like a dream production. But tell me, did anything go wrong? Were there any hitches, any hilarious or just tragic, you know, hurdles? Oh, that's... that's I, I wish we had, I guess I, I do and I don't wish we had a, a better story. Right. We were pretty smooth and, and truly all props to just our team, just the producers on this project, um, Adam Ettery, who's phenomenal and my, my business partner, Jeremy Pecos. And it, we just, we had such, we had such good camaraderie, I would say that it, it was so far and above, and above just the talent of these folks and just the ability to adapt made everything run really smooth. Our biggest challenge that we were facing was just the timing where this was shot uh, in, you know, partially in the day and partially at night. So we had to make daytime scenes look dark. And then we had mm. to figure out, you know, Gam Gam screaming and shouting. So making sure we're not shooting that at one in the morning when neighbors are going by. So uh, fortunate to say there were no crazy hiccups that we had to overcome and all props to the team who came to this so well prepared to avoid those. Okay, well, that's great. Hey, man, no problem if there's <laughs> not a, a story like, you know, the, the fire alarm sprinkler went off and ruined all. Totally. That's great. Well, uh, so what are you working on next? Any more shorts? Maybe any uh, returning characters or casts? Um, that's a great question. So we are very fortunate to be shooting our first feature right now. Uh, oh, sweet. Our team's been in Montclair, New Jersey, shooting a feature for the past month and a half. Uh, some slight hiccups, of course, with the strike and everything going on, but we are in the home stretch. Uh, we're very fortunate to have gotten the exemption waiver. We have a couple of days left. So uh, we're wrapping up that project, which we're, we're extremely grateful for. And then there's a comedy feature we are currently developing and set to shoot next summer. So working super hard and kind of just firing on all cylinders to keep uh, making stuff that we ourselves really enjoy watching. Well, that's awesome, man. And I cannot wait to see some features from you because you've got just uh, an incredible sense of humor, an incredible comedic oh. beat. Uh, well, do you have anything else to add about Zaw? Uh, just really grateful that you enjoyed it so much. And I hope everyone is able to see it either at the Austin screening or once we release it soon. And just our, our goal truly, um, is to make people laugh. We want people to have fun and we welcome and I, I'm open to any feedback and thoughts from people. So, uh, I hope people go check out the short. I hope people love it and I'm excited to continue making more. Awesome. Well, Sam, I know people are going to really love it, uh, on July 30th at the Austin Comedy Film Festival. You're going to hear some, some pretty high decibel levels of laughter. So no, uh, thank you wait. so much and uh, best of luck with the feature. I'm looking for uh, lots more from you. I'm looking forward to it as well. Thank you for your time and for uh, having me on. Absolutely. Take care. Talk soon. Thanks.